Alright guys, to start off this project, I will be taking some 1x3, and I just have about 5 feet of it in total probably. And what I'm going to be doing is making a base for the rebounder. And I have this 32 inch long bungee cord type thing. You can use a bungee cord and those work really well. Or you can use one of these band things that are like a bungee cord and simulate it. So I'm going to start off that by taking it and looking at about how long it is. And when you really look at it, what you're looking for is... You want to kind of cut the back support about two and a half, three inches shorter on each side. So this is 32 inches long total. So I'll probably make the back probably like 27 inches. And this is just so you can get the widest rebounder possible. So I'm going to start by creating the back. So I have my 27 inch piece cut out and I'm going to take some more 1x3 and just line it up a couple inches back behind here so you can put something in to support this and measure out a couple inches from this point to this point enough so that you have room for the puck to rebound and come back. I would probably at least do 7 inches at least. And on the back here, I'm probably going to do about three inches. And to save some time in measuring, I'm just going to take this piece and draw a line. Now I have the same length piece here. And I'm going to flip it so my hand is further away from the blade. So I don't, so I'm not holding the piece by this much compared to this close as I could if I could have my hand way back here. And right here is the basic layout of what it's going to look like. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a piece and just measure out how far back I wanted it. So I will mark it. And then what you can do is take a straight edge. These are really handy. You just butt it up against it, score your line, and now I have exactly where I want to place it. And I will do the same for the other side. And now I'm just going to take my random orbital sander and sand these smooth. And I thought this would be a good idea to use my Craig pocket hole jig. So that is what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to take one end of the 1x3 and place it in and center it up to two of the holes and just pop it in. Then I'm going to take my special drill bit for the pocket hole jig and drill some pocket holes out. This is all one solid piece. You don't have to wait for any glue to dry when you use pocket holes. That's a really nice thing about it. And it really cuts down on time as well. So what I'm going to do is take my bungee cord thing and I'm just going to take off each end that already has a hole in it for the original metal clip piece. And you want to span it across here. And what I usually do is 
I will take it around this corner and I will flip it over so it's kind of like wrapped around and I just take a screw with a washer head and it holds pretty nicely in place. So what I've done is I took the completed puck returner and I set it on this piece of hardboard I've purchased at the hardware store and this is really good for sliding pucks and stuff like that. It works just like a shooting pad but it's actually a lot cheaper. This ran me about 10 bucks compared to the smaller versions that were um, much more expensive. They're in the hundreds and this was 10 bucks. So you can make this for free. You can make this whole setup right here for about 10 bucks. And the only issue I have with this puck returner is when I pass the puck into it, it bounces away. And in order to fix that, I'm going to take two blocks of wood that I cut out and and I will take the puck returner, set it flush with the end of the, one side of the board. And I took two blocks that will just go right here and right here. And what you can do is just drill it in with a screw from the other side of the board up into this block. And it will hold it nice and stable so it won't push back and it will stay even. So that is what I'm going to do real quick. So a few things <clears throat> a few things I want to point out about this is that when you have this all set up, you just want to take your puck and make sure that it's level with this. You don't want this band to be over it or you don't want your puck to be on this side way over because then when you push your puck into it it will either pop over or it will just go under but when you have it nice and smooth then it works really good so a couple of drills you can do on this board is you can practice your passing and stuff like that and you can also practice your one timers by just doing a little bit of a pass in and when it pops back out, you just rip it off. So that is how to build a puck rebounder. If you like this video, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more woodworking videos every Tuesday, then just hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next week for another woodworking project.